Hey, Nick, how's it going? Good, Eric, how are you? I'm all right. Uh, Kyle was just on here, and he was in uh, sort of regular Kyle form uh, with us. I wanted to ask, like, he's, he's a bit, you know, skeptical and thorny, and how does that brand of leadership sort of inform your team and, and inform what you guys do, as he's obviously one of the biggest leaders of the team? Yeah, he's he's great with us. I think I think he's only thorny with you guys here. <laughs> no, he's been he's good. He's he's in uh, tremendous shape. He's he's practicing hard. He's shooting the ball at an incredible rate. He looks great. So um, I haven't sensed the thorniness. So there you go. Um, I guess what I've tried to say is like he'll. I mean, with coaches and with anybody, he doesn't suffer fools, kind of. And he, he'll question things. How is that? How is that over the last, I don't know, seven years sort of helped you along? Well, um, I think I think Kyle is, um, you know, incredibly smart, intelligent person, right? So um, when something isn't quite right, he's gonna, you know, bring it to your attention, and I. I'm I'm good with that. I mean, listen, this is a this is a partnership and a communication thing that we it's it's we trying to get to some place. It's it's um and that feedback's important. You know, it's important on a lot of levels, you know. What plays we're running, uh you know, just things we're doing at the end of the game, half you know, adjustments, all kinds of stuff that are going back and forth, you know, really in, in almost all facets of what we do. So I appreciate it, Eric. Appreciate it, Nick. Uh, stay safe. Okay, you too. Next, we're going to go to Doug Smith from the Toronto Star. Good morning, Nick. How you doing? Great, Doug. How are you today? I guess uh, first, I'm all right, thanks. Did everybody work today? Yes, sir. So all the players, everybody's healthy. Everybody got through the practice hurricane. Nobody's hurt. Or we had, we had, a, like we had, we had uh, three or four guys that sat out of a few things, Doug. At, you know, at the end, um, it was a, it was a fairly uh, brisk kind of uh, general overview, touching a lot of the offensive stuff. You know, just ripping through as many plays and out of bounds plays and sat out of bounds things and end the game things as we could. Um, but again, I'm, I think, I think. Uh, Kyle, Serge, Mark, maybe OG all all took different times off during the practice. So it's kind of where we are right now. We're, we're encouraging that and being pretty liberal with that right now. Are, one follow-up. Are you getting a sense for how you want to structure your days and weeks leading up to the start of this thing? Um, I got, yeah, a little bit. I mean, again, I think I came in trying to be open-minded and read it. And I thought after two pretty hard practices – hard practice days that today was a day to kind of you know kind of make it a non almost non-contact type of practice that you would have in training camp um and I, I guess i'm just trying to feel it out a little bit day by day doug uh you know it's it's you, know, you look down and you say uh you know we're 11 days away from playing a scrimmage like that's never a that's not, that never happens, right? I mean, like, even when we go to training camp, you start on Monday and you're playing a, a preseason game in front of 20,000 people about four days later. So it's, it's kind of a much, much longer-term project here for sure. And try to keep that in mind, right? As excited and as much as you want to push forward, sometimes you gotta, I got I to gotta rein myself in a little bit too, you know. Great. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate it. Welcome, Doug. Next, we're going to go to Michael Grange from Sportsnet. Nick, how are you? The uh, just want to say thanks again for uh, for doing taking this time, uh, you know, through all this. You've been great. It's been really helpful. Um, the uh, just referring to Kyle. I mean, a lot of times, uh, ever since you've been here, either when Dwayne was head coach or, or you, there's been a lot of discussion around preserving Kyle, make sure he gets to the playoffs in peak form. And, uh, you know, there's been some hit and miss. Sometimes obviously it's worked really well and there's been a few years when maybe it wasn't quite the case. How excited are you to see him, you know, enter the most critical phase of the season, 
clearly in great shape, clearly with maximum rest, clearly without distractions, at least from a work point of view. Could we see something from Kyle that uh, a level that maybe we haven't before, if, if that's possible, as good as he's been? Well, I think he's played at a level this year, Michael, higher than ever before. He's, he's played fantastic. And again, um, you know, we got one other maybe component, if that's the right word, that, that he had an amazing playoffs last year, yeah. right? So there's a confidence component that's kind of there. I think he's learned a little bit each year, you know, about his about his body and conditioning and, and you know, extending that finish line. Um, I think he's just smarter in that ways. And, and I think he's got tremendous confidence and I think as well, he knows he's got to be kind of a main cog, right? He's got he's got to, you know, produce um, offensively for us. He's you know he's always going to play hard and make the defensive plays, but he's got to be a a main factor in the offense. And he kind of carries himself that way. I think this year a lot more, um, you know. And again, I think he's not you know the other guys, you know, Fred, Norm, Norm Pascal, Serge. Those guys have all had such success going deep as far as you can go with a, with a championship that I, th I think a lot of them brought that back this year. And um, yeah, so <laughs> get back to answering your question. I am, it's going to be, I think, I think Kyle's going to be a, a hell of a player in the, in the playoffs this year. T touching a little bit on, on the question Eric answered you. I mean, to what extent people talk about, you know, to what extent is this Kyle's team? Like, I know there's a lot of leaders. There's a lot of vets. But, you know, in other years, it was Kyle and DeMar. Last year, obviously, Kawhi was a massive factor. Um, to what extent is this team a little different? Because it's, you know, it really does seem to be he's the captain of the ship. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I, th I think it's clearly, clearly Kyle's team, right? And he's, his uh, care factors up there, his intelligent factors are way up there. I mean, we're, we're in good hands with, with him. Uh, being the, the leader of this team. So good point by you. And all I can do, all I can do is confirm it, that it's, you know, it's obvious, I think. And, and it's, it's, uh, and, and it's great. I mean, I, you know, when a guy plays the way he does, the leadership by examples, you know, that, that phrase is probably overused, but it's certainly the case. Like, I think it's a, it's a, for, for basketball in general, you know, the way you play is, is like the first, you know, kind of characteristic of being a great leader. Thank you so much. And final question is going to go to Aaron Rose from SI.com. Hi, Nick. Uh, thanks for doing this. Kyle really had nothing but good things to say about um, the protocols and safety protocols inside the bubble. Um, have you seen his leadership and his positive attitude toward that trickle down throughout kind of the organization and, and how important is it to have someone like him um, sound at least so positive about kind of the safety protocols? Yeah. I mean, I think it is just, again, um, you know, there, there's, there's um, a lot of facets, right. Of, of, of getting um, this done, right. Kyle, you know, we, we want to, we want to perform at our best and, and this, situation has put kind of another whole strand of things you got to do if you want to get to where you want to go right it's kind of almost been put in front of everything else you know the, the conditioning and the play and the chemistry and the toughness and riding you know riding the ups and downs whatever all that other stuff that's normal basketball now you've got a, a strand of taking care of yourself and doing what you're supposed to do and the that you mentioned the protocols that if you don't do then you're not going to get started on that on that road and um, having him, I think he was a big part, you know, with the Players Association of, of getting us here. And, uh, you know, obviously, again, he's, he's a leader, so he was a part of that. And having him as a guy that's kind of setting the example of, you know, he'll say to these guys, you know, take this stuff seriously, right? Take this, take these protocols seriously. Get it, let's, let's, you know, don't, let's be smart and let's, do it and and um, I think it certainly resonates with the rest of the team.